Hello, welcome to another episode of Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. Today we have with us uh, Gitanjali Varuva. She is a museologist, a museum and heritage consultant. And she has been doing a lot of restoration work of arts and antiquities, having graduated in political science from the Guwahati University. She has also done her masters in history from IGNU and in 2006 she has completed her masters in political science from MS University of Baroda where again in 2008 she has completed her masters in museology from the same faculty of fine arts MS University of Baroda. Apart from that, she has several additional qualifications. She has a diploma in drawing and painting from Rubrang School of Drawing and Painting, Nagao. She is also a Bisharu from the Bhatkande Sangit Vidyapit, Lucknow. And she is a lifetime member of Museum Association of India. So welcome to our studios of AFTA. And it's a pleasure to have you in Pixel Narratives with Anutosh. Namaskar. Uh, at the very uh, beginning, I have a question that is coming to my mind and I'm sure the viewers will also think about exactly what is museology. Museology, that means uh, museum study actually. Hmm. And uh, museology is related with Mm, art objects and uh, now uh, it is uh, the term museum and uh, after that museology is arrived. Okay. So um, museology is uh, directly related in um, uh, museum, museum study actually okay. and uh, museum and um, museography is also there. So okay. um, the practice of um, uh, the uh, practice of a museum objects uh, is related to museology type. Okay, that means uh, uh, I am sure many of us have visited a museum and you have come across wonderful paintings and antiquities. Did you ever think uh, how these paintings or the art artifacts, the beautiful uh, objects that are displayed in the museum why they look so beautiful and even if it is a thousand years old you can you feel like it's it has been done very recently that is where actually the role of a museologist comes into a museologist who takes care of the originality of that artifact originality of the painting we have a painting here, which is uh, about uh, 75, 80 years old. A painting by a uh, pioneer Assam artist, Asudev. It's an oil on canvas. And we can see that uh, overall the painting is okay. But then you, you have a dent here because of wear and tear. And some, some uh, kind of uh, color uh, overlapping with dust and other residues, you know, which, which has made this painting very dull over the years. But this is where people like Gitanjali Barua plays their role to restore the painting in its original state. And why do you think it is really important for everybody? Uh, like most of the home, they have some painting, painting of their forefathers, they may have a painting of a very senior artist, uh, a very valuable painting. So how do that person know that this painting requires some kind of a restoration, some kind of a touch up or clean up? How do you uh, make people aware of this? Actually, uh, this antiquities is related to our heritage. Okay. So, uh, we have to preserve it because heritage is your identity. So, 
if you don't have any identity like uh, a museum or a, as a house so uh, without identity you can't uh, mm, uh, properly do anything uh, for your society so uh, in your house if we, uh, there are so many antiquities and uh, some rare objects are there you should uh, keep uh, uh, to preserve it and uh, for your next generation that your next generation should know what you are but what uh, your um, forefather was doing uh, most of our house uh, all across over the world you have uh, a uh, lot of wonderful collections that people have made over a period of time and it is passed on through generations to people and uh, you don't realize that those paintings or those antiquities have over a period of time they acquire a lot of dust they acquire a lot of humidity they acquire a lot of dampness and you won't realize that happening immediately it is a very uh, slow process and by the time you realize those paintings are having a lot of uh, defects i mean a lot of things that have foreign objects have started coming up uh, due to the dampness maybe due to the way we have kept it and it's after a long time when when the damage has been already done uh, you look for people who can bring them back to life it becomes very difficult and uh, i have been observing you doing uh, the restoration and the cleaning up of my father's paintings and it's a very slow process and you have been very meticulously uh, taking care of each and every edge of the painting and if it is uh, uh, required you have also opened the canvas frame and you have changed the frames and uh, this is uh, actually i came to know about gitanjali through the social media post when uh, about i think 2 years back 2 uh, 3 years back she had uh, been uh, very very instrumental in restoring the paintings of another pioneer artist of assam pranab borua of nagao and those paintings have been restored so beautifully and uh, in the absence of the artist of course and those uh, some photographs of those paintings were shared by her on the social media and that is how i have come to know that we have in assam people who are doing lot of wonderful work and they are a very trained museologist they have a long uh, period of uh, you know uh, experience at working at different places and i engaged gitanjali for this uh, work because the paintings required little bit of cleaning little bit of uh, uh, removal of uh, any foreign uh, objects and uh, how did you think the paintings are uh, actually uh, every art object uh, according to me like uh, as a baby so uh, we have to take care of it because uh, each and every uh, age of the painting or the sculpture or the um, any any art form uh, required more care for their longevity so uh, if we uh, care for the all art object then uh, it will um uh, pass for the next generation then the art work they can learn from it they can identify the uh, process and uh, so many things are there so uh, for as a museologist uh, we should know about all in all the museum management because museology subject is a multidisciplinary subject and uh, art uh, all the streams like art is uh, related to museology science is related to museology art uh, we are very lucky enough that uh, uh, i have passed out uh, from the famous faculty of india uh, ms university uh, specially the fine arts faculty which is uh, more 
more famous than uh, other universities and uh, we are very lucky enough that uh, the museology course is on the uh, um, uh, faculty of fine arts yeah, and, it is and you must you must have a lot of uh, you know very stalwarts you know the, as teachers yes who are uh, themselves uh, very great museologists yes, yes. i mean they have been instrumental in uh, uh, maintaining a lot of the artifacts in the palace in baroda yes yes uh, and, uh, and the museum uh, saji uh, museum yes uh, and uh, i was just going through your uh, very elaborate uh, cv and i could find that you have been uh, you know you have undergone a lot of trainings you have been uh, there in baroda so uh, that gave you a lot of opportunities to work under under dr nr shah uh, you know and you have been in the uh, conservation camp uh, of metal and stone objects and uh, you have uh, undergone a lot of museology training and workshops uh, in uh, nr lc lucknow apart from being in baroda and then you have also been a part of the photography show uh, on, on the occasion of world photography day when you have been working with sanskar kendra city museum in um, uh, gujarat and uh, apart from that when you returned back uh, uh, to assam you have uh, presented a lot of papers uh, on majuli uh, uh, a living history museum and uh, you have organized lot of uh, you know uh, workshops for college students you have uh, and i was the most interesting part of it that you have conducted lot of walks around the city uh, actually uh, you do share what this walk uh, is actually uh, the work is uh, the heritage work basically mm -hmm. and uh, um, after my uh, um, ma in ma fine in museology i joined the uh, um, shreyas museums in amdavad and after that vichar utensil museums and after that amdavad municipal corporations the city museum mm -hmm. which is called sanskar kendra okay. itself a uh, iconic building and uh, uh, made by the um, father of a modern architecture lee corbusier building okay. it is already famous so uh, after that um, when i joined as a museologist in sanskar kendra museum and uh, sub continuously uh, i uh, worked for heritage department also okay. so heritage h ward the heritage ward i um, came to know from the um, department of heritage amdavad municipal corporation okay. so amdavad is a very uh, fast growing city mm -hmm. and uh, they are more aware about heritage yeah so, they have lot of heritage yes, buildings that's in why, amdavad that's why it is the first city of uh, india mm -hmm. uh, recognized by uh, unesco mm -hmm. uh, world heritage city mm -hmm. so uh, for the heritage purpose and uh, for creating our awareness about our um, art objects and uh, our heritage uh, it should uh, um, uh, properly uh, maintain our heritage walk because yes. uh, uh, in our city life we don't realize our um, heritage and which we have actually so uh, um uh, creating a heritage work can uh, more focus on uh, their heritage and which should i mean people uh, would uh, yes. uh, get to know about the past yes, yes. you know the uh, and the wonderful rich heritage and the rich architecture the even the roads uh, the beautiful uh, foliage and you know the, the entire thing of a, a city i think uh, uh, you know children uh, particularly Uh, she, they should be groomed at this age so that they can take care of the heritage yes. when they grow up. and this is a wonderful guided tour that you conduct yes. uh, and it also helps in the conservation and it uh, helps uh, in the conservation of the um, city and uh, people uh, children they you know uh, develop uh, this understanding of how to protect the environment so that is also part of this now the question that is coming to my mind is uh, what do the common man do the common man who doesn't even know 
that he has got a wonderful uh, artifact, a, a wonderful antiquity, a wonderful painting in his home, and uh, the painting uh, with the age of, you know, with the time, it keeps on deteriorating, particularly in the northeastern states of Assam. Uh, you know, uh, the all the states here, we have a lot of humidity, and we have a lot of dampness because of the rains. And most of our paintings uh, of many artists have gone through a lot of deterioration and they don't even know what to do. Yes. And uh, I'm sure uh, when we are uh, going to share this uh, podcast, people would at least realize that it's not that you have a, a wonderful painting at home, you have a wonderful antiquity at home, but then you have to value that antiquity. And that's where you require the services of a professional. A professional who has been trained in restoring the paintings, the, art, the artifacts or the uh, whatever the collections that people have. And they go through a lot of wear and tear. And uh, it's when we have people like you know, Gitanjali who would take care of bringing or restoring those paintings, uh, you know, uh, back to its original beauty. And uh, what would be your suggestion that, uh, well, everybody cannot go for restoration. Uh, it's a very, uh, it's, it's quite expensive and it takes a lot of time and you require space for it. But then what, for the common man who has uh, paintings at home, maybe uh, done uh, say about 100 years back, for them how would you, what would you suggest that they can at least do this bit of work so that they maintain those paintings? Actually without past uh, we, can, we can't realize about our present, right. then we can go for future. So uh, if you have some paintings uh, made by you or your forefathers and uh, whatever you have collected. So uh, you have at least maintained the dust and dirt mainly because uh, in um, we are neglected about uh, dust and which became the which, which keeps on yes, accumulating. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that means it, that means you have to clean the painting. Yes. A very with a very soft uh, yes. cloth and so that uh, the dust don't accumulate. Yes. In northeast, uh, according to me, the conservation issue is uh, more less than other states. Okay. So um, uh, to create awareness of uh, the conservation of your objects, whatever you have. So mainly uh, as a museologist, as a, for the common people, I, uh, I can suggest for at least cleanliness is mandatory. Okay. And uh, after that, you have to maintain the humidity level and uh, you know, moisture because uh, northeasts are uh, so much uh, yes. moist yes. place and and and, and uh, i'd like to show the viewers uh, the kind of uh, restoration uh, work that she has been doing all these days with some of the paintings of my father you can see what the paintings were before the restoration work was done and what they are at this moment but even then uh, there is still some more work to be done
tools that uh, she is going to use. She is going to use some kind of a you know spray and uh, you know uh, some kind of a lamination kind of a thing. So uh, that is how they are. You know, uh, it is very very important that people at least care uh, the prized position that they have in their home. And uh, well, if you uh, see that you have some paintings at home and uh, even photographs yes. uh, which can be restored. So I think, you know, unless and until and unless we connect to our past, we do not have our existence. We, our existence without keeping our past with us, you know, it, it makes, I mean, it, we don't move, you know, we just have a life, that's all. But then we are not connected to the roots. So uh, thank you, Gitanjali. It was uh, very, very uh, important things that we had discussed in this podcast. And I'm sure our viewers must have uh, come to know, actually, what museology, uh, you know, that course, uh, you know, being a master's with museology and then coming and working professionally, uh, maintaining the beauty and the grandeur of the arts and antiquities. With that, we come to the end of today's uh, Pixel Narratives with Arutosh. In our next episode, we'll be again talking to somebody who would be sharing his life experiences. Till then, goodbye.